couple of years, I've started to prefer the outdoors and nature compared to cities. I haven't always lived up to this, since I kept going to cities anyway, since Antwerp is only 15 minutes away from where I live. But the Ardenna is like a 2 hours drive away from me. In fact, it's not that long, but it just seems pretty long when you live in such a small country. Anyway, for this trip, me and my homies, Kane and Jordan, went to the high fence. Today we're out here at the highest point of Belgium in the high fence and the weather is not the best to be honest but it's starting to clear up a bit so let's hope for the best and we're going to take some photos on the Sony a7C2 of course and yeah let's hope we can capture some bangers and we'll take you along the ride. When I was going to take these photos of my bro he was just doing some natural movements, putting his hand in his pockets, out of his pockets. He also made very good use of his environment, so he climbed up there and sat on it. So these are all little things that you could make your model do to make them both more at ease and they have a clear direction on what to do and your photos are going to look more natural at the same time. <laughs> in my previous video we were severely underprepared but right now we have the boots we're prepared but it's still pretty muddy though so huh. I honestly didn't expect the weather to be this bad because it's pretty shitty. There's a lot of wind. It's probably going to rain in a couple of hours again or more so like in one hour. And now it started hailing again. Great. Very nice. Do it for the ground. Bro, we need to get like right into the forest in between the trees. Yeah, okay. uh, oh, I want in possible. Fuck it. Run on the clear out. <laughs> hey, yo. After finding some shelter in the forest itself, I wanted to take some photos of my bro. But I didn't like the photos because the background was too busy over here. The photos probably would have looked better if I would have shot this with a higher aperture lens which I still nice. didn't have at that time. But right now I've got the Sony 35mm f1.4 G Master, so you can expect a lot of videos shot with this lens. Let's get some detailed photos of these beautiful orange leaves. It's actually pretty crazy how close you can get with this 24 to 70mm G Master Mark II. Very impressive. Uh, this place is really beautiful, very nice. I think we could get some nice shots over here with the 70 to 180 because we can get this beautiful compression of all these trees. Okay, someone has been eating over here. Nice, very comforting. A bit further yeah. into the forest, we found this absolutely beautiful spot in between the trees. The perfect place to shoot some photos and videos. we 
really gone crazy right now, but it gives some really, really cool effects. Honestly, this plate is so beautiful. There are so many details and things to capture that I don't even know where to start. Most of the photos are shot on the Sony 24-70 f2.8G Master Mark II and some of them on the Tamron 70-180mm f2.8G2. Both amazing lenses. You'll notice that some of the photos have this extreme glow in them. This is partly due to the Tiffin Glimmer Glass 1, but also because of the moist on my lenses and filters that occurred due to the rain and the hail. Ah, the weather has finally cleared up again. And look at this. The tree branches all of a sudden started smoking. And I'm not really sure why this is the case. Probably because things are evaporating or something. But it's really cool. Alright, so we're shooting on a Tamron 70 to 180 millimeter f2.8 again. It's the G2 version, by the way. And I really gotta shoot more with the 70 to 180 millimeter again because the compression is so epic. It's also pretty lightweight. It only is like 900 grams, so it's like perfect to accompany with the Sony A7C2. So it's a really great fucking combo. I'm telling you guys. And the reason why I got this one over the Sony one is because it's like 150 millimeter lighter and the Sony is also a bit longer. So we don't always want that. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> I felt like this spot right here was the perfect spot to shoot some photos of my homie. The 70 to 180 millimeter delivered this beautiful compression of the trees in the background and the backlighting was really amazing as well. I was really hyped about these photos of my bro. They actually look like commercial photos or some kind of clothing brand. Where do we go? Okay, we go. <laughs> oh, nice. Beautiful shot. After goofing around a bit more, my homie found a super cool spot straight into the forest. The nice thing about this spot is that the pine trees created lots of depth because of the branches in front of us and behind us.
Having multiple layers is always a super easy way to create some extra depth or to get that 3D effect. A bit further, we found another nice open spot, right in between the trees. A couple of minutes later, it started hailing super hard again. Oh yeah. Remember, clean up your shit. By the way, if you want to achieve similar color grades for both your photos or videos, you can get my Lightroom presets or LUTs or DaVinci Resolve power grades down in the link in the description below. We found so many beautiful spots today and it's not that bad that the weather is pretty shitty because obviously it gives these pretty moody scenes and that's what we like, right? I mean just look at this. Look at these moody boys. My man's hungry. Eating his beef jerky, nice. Some protein. We're going to change locations for a bit right now because yeah, this place is beautiful, but we're going to explore some other areas of the high fence over here. Let's go! And my man is back, enjoying his camp free sun. Nice. Eat. Mm. Just look at this. Some fats, carbs, and a little bit of protein. Uh, just look at this. Juicy. the waterfall very impressive water 
now we are on our way to a really cool castle and we also have this beautiful waterfall over here it's not the biggest but the sound and stuff it's just so so relaxing so calming very beautiful spot Do you have a resin? So. <laughs> oh, this waterfall is a bit bigger. Beautiful. There it is, Chateau Reinhardstein. Is this your castle? Yes, this is my castle. Can we go in there? I'm the king, I'm the king. Yes, you can come. Come. Uh, MTV Crips right there, so. Yeah. Hey, YouTube. Welcome to my crib. I'm Kane. Let's uh, give you a tour. So this is the main entrance. As you can see, I have my own private waterfall. That's beautiful. What else do we have over here? We have our uh, personal bird watch. So this is like an uh, alarm, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, seems like no one is around here. We didn't stay too long near Chateau Reinhardstein because we were kind of tired and cold as well, so we called it a day. This was a super fun trip and a reminder to myself to visit nature more often. I honestly enjoyed myself way more compared to heading out into the city. In the end, I think photography and filmmaking should be fun. And that's why I've included some of the funnier clips and photos in there as well. If you've made it this far, please let me know if you enjoyed this type of video in the comments down below, because I definitely want to make more videos like these. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video you'll probably enjoy one of these two videos as well. Come out. Peace.